they encouraging signs? A lot of opportunities created, especially in that second half. It probably just lacked the polish to finish off those key moments tonight. Yeah, it probably shows. Um, you know, it's a relatively uh, new squad. Um, but no, I was just pleased with the fight. I think, you know, after the 20-minute 20, 20 mark, we hadn't had much footy. Um, things were looking uh, a bit ugly, but uh, to their credit, the boys fought back. Um, you know, probably a bit unlucky not to put a couple of tries on themselves. And from then on, I thought, um, you know, we were sort of evenly matched. And, you know, we had 20 to 6, you know, we threw an intercept and that sort of deflated the bubble a bit. But, mate, all in all, you know, it's not often you get beat by 30 and be enthused. But in terms of looking ahead to the World Cup, I think we've unearthed a, a few more boys that we know can do the job up there. Who impressed you the most out of those exciting young, young guys? Oh, to be fair, you know, we've got a kid, uh, Reese Joyce, who's come out of the Auckland local comp, which, um, you know, probably says a bit about the competition there. It's, it's a physical comp, but, you know, for him to step up, you know, in the, in that, in the seven jumper, and I thought he did a decent job. You know, he made a couple of, couple of errors at the end there, but, um, you know, give him credit, he, he, he had a crack. And um, to be fair, I thought they all, they all, they all performed well. I thought uh, David Moala was good for us. Uh, Makahisi, when they came off the bench, I thought our bench was really good. They, they helped uh, turn the momentum around. Sanji, you pretty dominated that middle 40 minutes. If that ball gets past David and off the river, you guys scored. Do you reckon you guys were almost coming over the top of them? Yeah, I thought the boys, you know, we were on the front foot there, and, um, you know, it's hard when. You know, calls are not going our way, but I guess we, like Tony said, we fought back hard, and you know that pass killed us. But it's it's going to happen. It's going to happen in games, and the way that the boys reacted after that, you know, they had still had energy, and we still had fight in the end. So, all in all, I thought the boys, you know, put in a massive effort. So, Tony, that was almost that was almost a moral win from your point of view, given the mismatch on paper and. Given what you said about the Auckland Rugby League, years gone by was a great place for Kiwi players to come from, but the game's changed. It's almost a moral victory tonight for the Cookies. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure you ever take a you know a 30 point loss as a moral victory, but I I, I was happy with um, you know the effort they put in. You know, it's a very good Samoan side. Um, obviously, a lot of speed across that team, and they scored a lot of long-range tries uh, against us. So it was just it was just nice to to get back in the arm wrestle. And you know, sort of, uh, we probably learned a little bit about ourselves in terms of how we want to play um, later on in the year. Were you worried it could get to 50 or something like that after those uh, leaking those points early on before the resilience kicked in? Oh no, I think. I think looking at our squad and the way we trained, I knew that if we just could just get our fair share of the ball, then um, we could start turning things around. You know, there's um, we've got some good footballers in our in our in, in our side. You know, a lot of them are coming out of Queensland Cup and and New South Wales Cup um, sides, but they're NRL players. Don't worry about that. What about the players that are playing elsewhere tonight? If you brought them back into the Cookie side, how much of a difference does it make? Oh, we've got some um, we've got some old old heads come back. That's for sure. Um, but um, there's certainly a lot of boys put their hands up um, tonight. Um, you know, there's three boys who didn't play as well who who I would have uh, great confidence in, in, in picking and taking to the World Cup. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, we were missing a few today, but um, we've certainly found a few more that can add to our depth as a country. What's the plan now between now and the World Cup in terms of preparation? Can you get some? Together, or? Oh, no, we won't have that opportunity, but certainly I think, you know, for some of these boys who probably didn't think they were in consideration for the World Cup, they probably know that now. Um, so it's up to them to be keep performing at uh, either state or NRL level. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to um, having some competitiveness, you know, across those positions. So, yeah, I thought they did a good job. Thank you. Thank you.